I'm Lars. This is Pella. This is Cass. Hello. And this is Leif. Hi. Welcome to Cannon Beach. I've shaped boards since I was 15 years old, starting in my parents' bathroom, much to their dismay. I'm the son of a carpenter. Who was the son of a carpenter? Who was the son of a carpenter? I've always been around wood. You start with a block. You shape that much like a sculptor would sculpt something out of clay. That's the biggest difference between the way we build wood boards and the way many of the people in the world build wood boards these days. A hundred years ago, shaping a surfboard meant that you started with a great big block of wood and you went at it with a planer. This is my granddad's planer and I still use it for shaping today. I take the wood out of each of these pockets. It's all part of one giant block of wood. We not only have carbon neutral footprint, at the end of the day we're carbon negative. We can do it the right way, and it may not be the biggest way or the most profitable way, but there is a way that is better. We're not working with exotic woods here. We're working with local woods in every case. This is where some of the wood for our surfboards comes from. These trees right here, they were wrapped that big with the roots when we planted them. And now they're bigger than me. We usually set up our tent actually right here and camp and get our nice view and hear the ocean in the mornings. And right here you can see uh, where we surf. This is Cannon Beach. I feel so thankful that the boys have the ability to just run free. And then we take the boards and we go out and surf them. Like if you just sit on your board, you can see the beach go by really fast and that's kind of cool. Cass does know exactly what kind of board she likes because whenever she gets that board, she says, you better not sell this board because <laughs> this is the one I love. <laughs> that's true. Whether I'm out windsurfing or surfing, that's my favorite place to be. It's really nice. I feel really lucky. <laughs>